Hey, welcome back to the New Christian Series with Overcoming Obstacles. This is the second to last video. You've made it. We're almost to the end of this thing. I'm so proud of you. We've been growing in our walk with Jesus. Today, you get to hear from all of the members of the Overcoming Obstacles team that have competed on American Ninja Warrior. We are going to be talking all things prayer. What is it? When to do it? How to do it? It's going to be great. But to start us, I'd love for one of our team members, James Gross, to open us in a word of prayer. Take it away, James. Hey, what's up, guys? This is James Gross here, and I got Kyson, my awesome young man. Uh, we just want to pray for you guys today. For the new believers, um, you have been accepted into the body of Christ now, and uh, God loves you tremendously, and he has a plan to prosper you, not to hurt you, to give you a hope and a future, and I am here to let you guys know that, and also just to lift you guys up in prayer, so let's do that right now. Um, Father God, I thank you for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. You are our Father who art in heaven. Father God, you sit high and you look low, Father God, and you know every need before we even ask for it, Father God. So I thank you for this day. I thank you for my brothers and sisters that have just come into the fold, God, the new pieces of the body of Christ, God, we give you praise for that. Um, hallowed be your holy name. You're awesome. We just glorify your holy name right now. Your kingdom come right now. Your will be done on earth right here as it is in heaven. God, let people know that they can manifest heaven on earth in their situation, in their circumstance, in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. You are still sovereign and you don't miss a thing. So let us access everything that you have for us right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give us this day our daily bread, both food and your word, Father God, for your word is life and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So you forgive us of all the things we've already done as we forgive others that may trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, God, but deliver us from all evil, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray deliverance from the evil one, from the enemy right now in Jesus' name over these new believers, over the body of Christ right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For thine is your kingdom, thine is your power, and thine is your glory. Now and forever, you can't escape it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we say, amen. 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 Love you guys. Ah. God bless you. Amen. Thanks so much, James. Uh, next, we're going to hear from Kendall Ortez to share a few thoughts about prayer. Hey, guys. I just want to talk a little bit about praying with your walk with God. To me, praying is very important. You know, whether it be to confess your sins, thank God for everything he's done for you, or just tell him what's on your mind. No matter the reasoning, it will help sharing your faith with God. But praying to me was very easy to do by myself, but really hard to do in a big group of people. You know, you're always like, what if I mess up or what if I forget what I'm saying? But you really shouldn't think that way. Because even if you mess up, it's still just you talking to God one-on-one. -on -one. No one will ever judge you, nor should they, about how you pray. So let's all just take time out of our day, sit down, really talk to God one-on-one. -on -one, because it will help us um, just carry on through our faith. So let's all get together and just keep growing and I'll walk with God. Thanks so much, Kendall. Really, at the heart of it... Prayer is all about a relationship. It's all about you staying connected to God. And any healthy relationship has healthy communication. And communication is just you telling your feelings and listening to the other person's feelings. You just sharing what's going on in your mind and in your heart so that you can stay connected, so that you can stay in love with that person. And so when do you pray? All the time. Where do you pray? Anywhere. Prayer is just such a simple thing. It's just like talking to your best friend, except for you're talking to the creator of the universe and he wants to hear everything you have to say. And he wants to press things on your heart. Don't worry about hearing the voice of God. Like I've never audibly heard the voice of God, but I know that whenever I've been praying, I've had like a, an, an overwhelming peace about certain things that I could tell that God was speaking to me about those things. He was showing me things. Really, I think ultimately we hear from God through the, the word of God, through the Bible. Um, and sometimes in prayer, he, he, he's spoken to people in the past. I'm not going to limit God. He could do that again. But for me and, and, and for what I understand with the majority of Christians, prayer is about me expressing my heart to God, my thoughts, my feelings to God, um, and then feeling him lead me and guide me and direct me during times of prayer. One of the most important things to work through is how to pray. Man, there's not like a certain um, way to pray other than being respectful and other than being 
honest and and just making sure that you are giving God his rightful place of glory. Um, But there's no like certain um, like order that you have to pray. There's some great examples in scripture. Um, Jesus talks in the Lord's Prayer. Uh, I believe it's Matthew chapter 6 where he says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. You see, Jesus starts in that prayer with saying, Our Father. So he starts by focusing on who God is, and then he brings his daily needs. So I think if there's a suggestion there from Jesus, it's saying focus on how great God is. Don't just tell God what you need all the time. First start by worshiping him, making sure that you have your your heart set on just making sure that it's giving him glory and not just getting what you want. But then bring your daily needs. In Matthew 6.34, um, it says that we shouldn't worry about our life. Um, In Matthew 6.32, It says that God knows that we have our daily needs, and he's aware of that. But Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God, and everything else will work out. And so while we should bring our daily needs, God is aware of our daily needs. He is concerned about it. At the end of the day, first and foremost, prayer is about connecting to God, focusing God, keeping our eyes on Jesus as the main thing. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.17 tells us that we should pray without ceasing, that we should be praying all the time. And so I think that that means that that throughout our day, we're just communicating. It doesn't mean we have to walk around just constantly, God, I love you, and I just think that you're awesome, and thank you for making the beautiful blue sky, and thank you for the ocean. And I don't think it's like that. I think it's that we have this, this just heart that's in tune with the Holy Spirit of God as we go throughout our day. So at the end of this, just like all of them, I've got two things for you. Prayer is all about communication, and it's all about connection. Communication and connection. Communicate to God everything that's in your mind and in your heart, and it will help you stay connected to God. And that's what life is all about, loving God with all of your mind, heart, strength, soul, everything you have. That's what Christianity is all about. I want to end this session by asking my good friend Nathan Burkhalter to close us in prayer. Hey, everyone. I'm Nate. I'm excited to be part of this video series with you. And as Jared said, I'm going to close us out in prayer. Um, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this this opportunity to um, let new believers experience what prayer really is. It's a conversation with you. It's a way to express our hearts to you in a way that we also can pause at times. It's not just talking to you. It's also listening. It's taking moments to hear your voice, to hear the things that you're stirring on us. Holy Spirit, as you illuminate things in our minds and in our hearts that that have already been placed there, those things draw us to you. And so I pray that you would show people the way, Lord, through, through your spirit, through these video series, that they can realize that you are closer than they think. You're a friend, Jesus, that sticks closer than a brother. And I pray for protection over people's hearts and minds and spirits as they continue to deepen their relationship with you, Jesus, we pray against the enemy as the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and to discourage and to intimidate. But I pray for boldness in all these believers that are going to step out in faith in new ways, that are going to begin to see the purpose that you've called them to. So Lord, I pray for a deepening of that peace that surpasses all understanding, knowing that God you have ordained their life. You have given them, you've created them, you've given them a purpose. And this ability to pray will deepen that relationship and will help them understand more of where you're calling and where you're guiding. So I pray against intimidation of, of religious places and past experiences that may make them think they're not equipped. You are equipped to pray because you have a voice, you have a heart, and a mind that can speak to God. And so I want to pray that each person that's, that's hearing my voice will be encouraged knowing that this journey of prayer is not one that has to look like others. and It doesn't have to be perfect. It's about our relationship and a conversation with God our Father, with Jesus, not only our Savior, but our brother and our friend. And Jesus, we know you stick closer than a brother. And so I pray all these things in the name of Jesus, and I thank you for this opportunity to deepen faith and to continue to hear the voice of God in new ways and and speak out and share the ways that we want to express our love and appreciation in our our needs and our wants and our desires and ultimately our love for you God all this in your name amen all right
Thank y'all.